Porsche's design strategy is based on two pillars. One of these is brand identity, the other is product identity. Brand identity means recognizing that the car is a Porsche. Product identity means recognizing which Porsche it is. The new Cayenne has of course been defining the Porsche brand very successfully in the segment for over 15 years. This made it all the more important for us at the Porsche Design Studio to continue carrying this success story forward. It all begins with a sketch. This sketch is elaborated on and thereby finds its way into the digital world. This is the beginning of something that resembles a game of ping pong. In other words, the pictures from the digital data model are revised by hand, and those changes are in turn incorporated in the digital model. If we go through the car, starting from the front, the wings have become a little more pronounced when viewed from the front, also as regards the shape of the headlights. Looking inside the headlight unit, you see that it is maximally modelled in three dimensions. The large air inlet vents, which are typical of a Porsche, are of course there for technical reasons, but they're also upgraded by very beautiful fine details such as these fins, which are functional too, of course. The previous model already had a very dynamic roofline, in my opinion. But we have done some more work specifically on this line, as well as on the outline of the side windows. We now have a markedly flatter roofline, which makes the vehicle sportier. We have also designed a very beautiful dynamic outline for the side windows, making it look even more like a sports car. I always say, the three most important aspects of automotive design are, one, the proportions, two, the proportions, and three, the proportions. The relative size of the wheels compared with the body is extremely important, of course. When it comes to the fine-tuning, this includes the design of the rims, which can be made to look a bit bigger. Looking from the rear, we have Porsche's typical brand identity. The cockpit is drawn inwards. We have these shoulders. We have the ribbon with the rear lights, which is part of the brand identity. The story behind this is simply that we introduced the ribbon to the sports car as a new element. And this design element was then consecrated and became part of the Porsche brand identity. In purely stylistic terms, the ribbon of the rear lights help us to distribute the volume better. The car looks distinctly more lightweight. We adopt exactly the same procedure for the interior as we do for the exterior brand identity and product identity. Here again, it was an important step to move forward into the modern age. That is to say, we now have a large center screen. We have this theme. The display has become distinctly larger, and it also adopts the idea of touch-sensitive surfaces. We also try to give the driver and passenger the sense of really becoming a part of this machine. One example of this is the upward-sloping center console. The fact that the instrument, as we call it, is slightly curved. That's one of the themes that keep repeating throughout all our model ranges. It is certainly an inspiration for us, making the existing elements of the car even more typical of Porsche in the next generation. And we've tried to make things much cleaner, to tidy things up, to produce a calmer interior in which you can concentrate, well, first of all on the road, of course, but also on the beautiful materials, the gracefulness. We also use very high quality materials, of course. For example, in terms of the types of leather we offer, including top class leather of club quality. Take a sport seat like this, for example, which has turned out very beautifully. A top-class seat, it looks very sportive with its pronounced shoulders and the integrated headrest, another typical Porsche feature. 
And looking at the details, another aspect to be considered is the colour. It too is a piece of the mosaic that makes a car look new.